Hey Taurus, welcome to your general reading. This will be published in July. It can be viewed anytime you see it, as long as the message or the title resonates with you, then hopefully there should be a message in it for you. I'm going to start with the Romance Angels deck here, and then we'll move on to a smaller tarot deck. And I'll name it when I use it, just so... You know, a lot of you asked me in the comments what deck it is. Um, I do mention it in the video, so um, if you forget by the end of the video, just please restart the video and I will name the deck. I can't reply to all the comments um, asking for the deck. So this is the Romance Angels card first. So let's see. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring here. So, if you're seeing this and you are questioning, are my feelings real? Yeah, they're real here. Well, let's see what's going on. This could be the one. Okay, so if you feel like you've already met the one you seek, here's what this is saying to you. Very loud and very clear here. It seems you know who you want. Two cards letting us know your feelings are real. You are in search of somebody you've already met. Okay, let's see. Let's get the rest of the cards out first. We know life ain't so straightforward, is it? So, you know, you know who you seek here and your feelings are real, but let's see what's going on. Ooh, very soon. So, very soon. Clearly decide what it is you want so that it can come to you now. So this could be the person you consider the one. If you feel them coming towards you here, that's what's going on. That's what I'm picking up here. Um, so even if you're not in communication with them and just telepathically or anything like that, you feel them coming towards you. That's what this energy is here. Um, if it resonates with you, um, the one is coming towards you very soon if you clearly decide what it is you want. You know, often we can say we don't want um, a love, but really deep inside us, we do. And then we're confusing um, the universe and the divine and we are co-creators. So be very clear on what it is you want so that it can come in for you here. Okay, is the retrograde six of cups? Be careful. Um, so if it's a past soulmate, somebody you already have memories with, that's what we see coming in for you here very soon here. Look, this is somebody from your past returning to your life here. Um, somebody you already have share fond memories with. And this, this could be the one card already says you already know the romantic partner you seek here. So maybe this could be even be like a childhood friend coming back and, you know, um, you're putting out to the universe. I want the one, you know, my last love, not a first love. It could be a first love, but, you know, um, maybe you feel somebody coming in here. Ooh, two wanted to come. Nine of swords there. The chariot. So if it's a cancer you're dealing with here, um, we do see them returning because this is um, a cups also here. So somebody here is traveling towards you or returning to you here, um, wanting to be with you or you wanting to be with them here. Some of you um, have fond memories of. So this, this sticks of cups, um, maybe you've forgotten um, the bad things that went on, if anything bad at all, maybe you just lost touch. But this is somebody moving or traveling towards you here. Four of Pentacles, somebody who can't let go of you or you can't let go of them. Oh, it's getting interesting. Somebody you can't let go of, somebody you consider the one, your feelings are real. Um, you know, feels like you're in this chariot alone though at the moment with this deck the strength card here okay could be a leo for some somebody did, did ask me to start calling out signs so that's what i'll do but generally all the signs come out so that's why i don't like calling out signs it's just a waste of time it's energy that we're in 
Um, so, you know, when we see the strength card, it says we've had to overcome some difficulties, but you're moving forward successfully, but you can't seem to let go of this soulmate here. So it's like, yes, I'm moving forward, but I can't seem to let go of the past. This is what the cards are telling me here. And sorry, um, my other camera is not working. So this is what we're dealing with today. So, yeah, for some of you here, you know, you've had the strength to overcome something here and, you know, keep it moving. But you just can't seem to let go of the past here. Let go of the person you consider the one. Look at that. So it's like you're still waiting or they're still waiting. If it's not you who's waiting, they're still waiting for contact from you here, I feel. Because this is your ships coming in. Look, it's almost here. Be careful of people returning during the retrograde. But this could be somebody you've waited for. The person you consider the one here. Remember, this is general and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately. I do have a video um, about um, your ex not returning in the retrograde. So you can check that out. That's on my channel there. So let's see. I am doing this in July where we have Mercury retrograde in Queen of Swords. So you've definitely learned a lot with this love. Um, you know, all is not lost, but you've learned a lot. You've been through a lot. The Queen of Swords is somebody who's been through situations. Come out the other end here because, you know, you have the strength here. I feel like you've gained a lot of knowledge as well. But sometimes when we gain that knowledge... When we learn those lessons, they can be tough lessons. So here I feel like, yeah, you've acquired some extra knowledge here, but maybe it took a lot of strength to get to this position you're in now. But I feel like you're still open. All is not lost with the Queen of Swords. You know, she's learned her lessons, so she's not going to suffer any fools, but... Um, it seems you still have the door open for somebody here or somebody still has the door open for you. Let's see. Judgment. This is divine timing for me. Um, this card for me is often about, you know, having to wait for divine timing. But the time being now, I mean, with the rest of the cards here saying very soon, and the Six of Cups also. This is about divine timing being now, like judgment days coming here. So, you know, are you going to allow them just to rush in? Or are you going to remember what you've learned here and not to let people cross your boundaries and keep in touch your self-respect here? Um, I think so with this Queen of Swords energy that you're in. This is your energy that you're in, this Queen of Swords. It's in the heart of the reading here. So let's see. Let's get three more cards for you guys. Let's see. So maybe you decide to not let them back um, and cut them off here because you have the strength. You have um, the judgment card. So a judgment has been made. So either somebody's decided, look, I'm going to come back. And you've decided, well, it's not going to be so easy for you, Mr. or Mrs. Um, let's see. Ooh, the magician, they're definitely manifesting here. They're manifesting here. This relationship is coming here after, you know, you've gained a lot of um, information and more self-respect here. This is manifesting. Again, it could be um, Scorpio. We have Cancer here. We have the Queen of Swords for an air sign here. We have water and fire, so yeah. Let's see, it's just how it resonates with you here. This person is manifesting. It seems very straightforward that can you feel them coming towards you? Your feelings are real here. Um, the time is now. Somebody's decided to make a move towards you with the chariot. Um, and it's manifesting with the magician, somebody from your past here with the six of cups. Oh, nine of wands. So somebody does have their guard up. I mean, um, it can be you, 
um, because now I'm feeling like, look, I've learned these lessons the hard way so many times here. So this time I've learned to keep my self-respect intact and not let people pass my boundaries here. This is what um, this nine of wands is. It, it's not giving up. These two cards are not about giving up. You may come across harsh to people, um, changed even, but this is not giving up. This is like, there's just got to be rules in place now. If we're going to communicate, you can't go ahead and block me every time things get hard or you can't run away. These are my terms. So if you want to come back into my life, these are my terms. And I feel like you'll stick to that there. Which is very good. Very positive. You know, you've got to learn your boundaries or when somebody comes in during the retrograde, they will just leave straight away again if you haven't set these boundaries and this self-worth into place. The hanged man. Gaining a new perspective, seeing things differently now. Well, we've said that here anyway. You know, um, now you've learned your self-worth and things like that. You just see things differently. You may come across as harsh or changed, but I feel like this connection could have changed you, but you just can't seem to let go of them either. So let me know, Taurus, how it resonates with you. You know, have, has this love changed you, but you still can't let go? They're manifesting in your life now. Good luck, guys.